Good morning, my name is Richard Yarlett and I'm the CG School Instructor for Flash Professional CS5. Today I'll give you a brief overview of Flash CS5 and then I will show you exactly how to create a simple image gallery with some pre-built components and some basic action scripts. If you're completely new to Flash, this webinar will give you a basic understanding of what can be done with the program. And if you are familiar with Flash Little already, this will give you some useful insight into action script and some good code practices. My name is Richard Yarlett and I'm going to give you a little overview on Flash CS5. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the, uh, the Flash project. And here is Flash CS5. Now, of course, normally you would be running at a higher resolution than this, like 1920 by 1200 or something, especially being an Adobe design user, you, you realize that resolution is very important. You need a lot of uh, space and you need a lot of desktop reality. But uh, for this presentation, this is just going to be 1280 by 800. So it's pretty, pretty small, pretty tight. And we're just going to try and make the best we can of the space. So this is CS5. Um, you may have already be familiar with CS4. You may be a total beginner. But they've added some new features here. They've added like the, uh, the better templates with some sample files. They've added some learning um, systems right here, which is great. They just launched the uh, Adobe TV or some other specific learning channels. Um, so that's a great way to learn Flash initially. But what we're going to do is we're going to open up an ActionScript 3 file. Obviously, um, CS3, CS4, CS5, they both support ActionScript you know, uh, 2 and 3, but we're just going to be using the, the, the version 3 because obviously that's the latest version. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Action Script 3 file. Okay, so this is what we get presented with. It's a basic white area. Of course, it's called the stage, if you're familiar with other Adobe products, and that's a popular term. We have over here the, uh, the toolbar. So we've got the toolbar down, down the left-hand side. Some pretty basic stuff here, you know, uh, fill and paint lines and that kind of thing. Over here, we have a timeline. If you're familiar with Action Script, uh, sorry, with, that, with the After Effects, Adobe After Effects, you'd be familiar with the timeline as well, or Premiere Pro. This is our Actions window where we go ahead and write the actual um, Action Script itself, which we're going to get to later on. And then over here we have the Properties dialog box and some other panels. Okay, so the very first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and set up my movie. And to do that, I can either hit Modify Document or I can hit Control-J on the keyboard. And then that gives me my, uh, my basic document settings here. Now, we're going to go ahead and create an image gallery. And I actually know the size I want to use. It's going to be 560 by 430. And this is obviously in pixels. We can also change the background color. And I'm going to go ahead and make the background color um, kind of a gray, a deep gray. I don't, I don't like using anything on white by default, really. So I'm going to click OK now. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this movie. So the way I do that, I just hit Control, Control S on the keyboard. And I'm just going to go ahead here and give this a simple file. So I'm just going to call this uh, work. And I'm going to call this gallery. Great. And within gallery, I'm actually going to put in some images, six images to be exact, of, of uh, of six images that we can use for the gallery. So here's, uh, I'm just going to do this over on my other screen here really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and put this gallery in here. Great. So now I've got my images in place. I can then start to show you what I'm what, what I'm going to be working on. So here's my uh, here's my images. I'm going to bring them over here, 
and here's my gallery file and here's my images and I've got my six images here images one through six pretty basic stuff now these are actually already cropped to the right size you don't have to crop them to the right size but they actually are the crop to the 32240 which is the size that we're going to be using them in a minute okay so I'm going to close that down so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about layers the first layer is layer one, it's the default layer. And uh, actually, I just backed it up a little bit there. We're going to create a new layer. Actually, we're going to create a couple of new layers. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to name and create layers as well. So, the first layer we're going to create here is going to be uh, loaders. The second layer we're going to create is going to be buttons and the third layer we're going to create is going to be interface interface great so we're going to go back to loaders and I'm going to go over to a component and this is our component list here these are pre-built components that come with flash CS5 they haven't really changed that much since CS3, CS4 and they probably just modify them a little bit, but generally they're the same kind of set of, set of tools. The most popular one pretty much is the UI loader. Um, and the UI loader, I'm just going to drag it in here and you'll see it go on. Um, it's just a bit, bit of a, a 100 by 100 pixel container. And it's a container that's designed to pull in um, external dynamic content. What does that mean? It, well, it means that it pulls in things like JPEGs, GIFs, PNGs, and they can reside on a hard drive or they can reside in a particular web address or a web folder so anything that's external that Flash wants to reference that's graphical like that you can use a UI loader now what's great about the the, the layout part of this is it's very easy because everything snaps together nicely um, I've got by default the snap on and it also got it on a 10 pixel grid so I'm just going to draw drag this and let it lock into the corner of the stage and you'll see that it's at a zero zero setting here and what's great about that is I can just then use it hold the shift key down and kind of shift down a little bit and you'll see that I've got a 10 pixel grid going on so as I just with the shift key down and use the arrow keys I can move this around on a 10 pixel grid so what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this. You always name this. Um, everything you name um, is relevant because everything you name goes into the action script. So this this first thing I'm going to name is going to be just be called icon one. Simple as that. Now I'm going to hit Control D on the keyboard and that duplicates. So whatever whatever you have selected when you hit Control D duplicates, and I'm going to drag that over. And just snap it. You see how this snaps really nicely to the end of that. And I'm just going to then use the shift key and an arrow right, and that's going to give you another 10 pixel gap. I'm going to name that icon two. Now I'm going to take both of these icons, hit Control D again, and bring down again with a 10 pixel gap, and Control D again, shift back over and and shift down. And so now we have a nice kind of 100 by 100 grid or in the, well, this way, 200 by 300 grid of, of icons. We've got to go ahead and name them all individually because when you duplicate them, the names get duplicated at the same time. So you've got image one, image two. This also needs to be image, sorry, icon, I'm sorry, icon three, icon four, icon five, pretty boring, I don't know, but an icon six. And so now we have icons and what we can go ahead and do is because they all do the same thing they're all a set of six icons we can go ahead and uh, group them but before we group them what I want to do now is also create a second